Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. Welcome to my Outer Worlds uh, episode, which I'm not going to be streaming today because uh, I'll be busy. But I do have a, some time to pre-record a video for you. So this is where we left off yesterday. We did the quest with this lady right here, which where she is very thankful. And now I guess we're going to continue. Let's see if we got we got a die robot, but it's collapsed with the other one. So yeah, let's go and talk to this lady here. I don't think I'll be looting anything in this place. I'm pretty much all set with the loot. And uh, let's see what we can do. Do they see me? <laughs> Speaking of loot, I mean, man, if you just look at it, you just can't say no. Have anything else? Any goodies for me? All right. Hello. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're barren illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be a Dylan. I can't pronounce her name. <laughs> I have been called that among other Adela, things. that's how I'm gonna call you. Adela. Grandmother. The strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes. Adelaide will do just fine. Adelaide. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? <coughs> you should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace. Reed Thompson, you here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? You know, probably want to come back to Henry. So uh, Reed asked you to consider coming back to town. He's willing to make amends. Something about. I wasn't really listening. Make amends. Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. This is serious. I'm about to cut off your power. You're doing this for Reed? Why? Your cam has power right now. I need to repair my ship. It seems like good to do. Man, it's gonna sound selfish, but I need to repair Canary's my ship. Canary's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. We'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. What have you got against the town? You've seen that miserable excuse for a town with your own lamps. Hollowed out workers laboring their lives away at the cannery, living off whatever scrap spacer's choice throws them. You know that's true, don't you, Ms. Holcomb? Your father died of overwork. His heart gave out. He, he was tired all the time, sure, but he was old, ma'am, and he raised me all by his lonesome. Look what they did to this child. Lost her family to the company, and still she defends them. Damn. It's not much of a living, 
Every single person in that town has sold themselves to Spacer's Choice. The company owns them. Body, blood, and bones. You she got a point, there. by the way. <laughs> That's crazy about... You gotta pay the fees to get buried and stuff like that? It's just so crazy. And then they're Even if you're not related. Brand cemetery. I like these people more than those dudes. Life in Edgewater grinds to a halt. The cannery shuts down, workers desert in droves, and our own little camp grows and thrives. I'll consider it. You think we just gonna... You bring power to Reed's town and you'll be killing us. Reed knows it. He's counting on it. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Alright. That's that. Journal. Hmm. <clears throat> Divert power from... Okay. So I got a choice. Uh-huh. Man, all right, let's bounce. Wait, hold up. This guy's a traitor, no? So, Zoe says she fought her way out of a marauder camp with her own bare hands. Of course, she did. <laughs> Fresh off the limb, <laughs> and that includes canid meat. Okay, man, what you got here? Let's take a look. Legendary pistol. Thick leather of round. Why would I buy this, man? Oh, hold on. What's that? Restricted stock. Cockroach. Range weapon mod slide. Improves the damage dealt after armor pin. Okay. Okay. Uh, how about we sell stuff? Sell, sell. This is sell. Here you go. Take, take, take. Take, 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 take. Just one of these. I'll sell you my copies. Okay, now we got a whole bunch of this stuff. Uh, uh, uh. Alright. Okay, I don't think I'll be using that. I don't use drugs. Okay. Oh, by the way, I need to buy a little bit of water. Do you have water? Man, what the hell do you have? This is a... <sighs> Lul. Restricted stock as well, man. Are you really? Come on. Restricted, restricted. Can't buy that, can't buy this, man. What's up? Man, this gun is almost out, out of ammo, damn it. Shoot, what the hell is that? All right, baby, let's go. We got a whole bunch of things to do. Woo! Mm. Map. Chook. Edgewater. Yeah, we're gonna turn off Edgewater. <laughs> Baby, where the hell are you? Where, where the hell is she? Where were you? You were supposed to deal with that robot. Oh wow, it also turns the robot into ash? Lol. 
Okay. I've always wanted to poke around in here. Yeah, right. Those robots, man. They seem deadly, especially on this uh, difficulty supernova. We're just gonna get killed. Oh, nice. Sneak peek. Shoot. Oh. No! Damn it. We're class five. What the hell? Um. Boom. Oh, we won't make it there. Sectora clear. The hell is that? That's how you shoot. <laughs> Are you going to do something about that dude or not? Go get him. Yeah, girl. One team, one dream, baby. Let's check this place out. Okay. It's a decent amount of loot there. I should buy some of this armor. Oh, nice. There is a shop. Hello. Tan. Oh, my lord. 500? Hell no. 500. Man. Do you know how many upgrades I can do for that? 500? Oh yeah, you got water here. I'll take the water though. 500. Oh nice, we found this thing so we can go do a little bit of lock pick, lock pick, you know what I mean? Oh. Uh, get rid of that, get rid of that. Okay. stuff 38 whoo why <laughs> 38 38 damn I'll sell those things give me the money 38 there you go we Got some space now. Got some cash too. I'll keep the rest. Oh yeah, wait. I can uh, dismantle these things, right? Hold on. Idiot. By the way, I should be able to fix. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> Got my energy. Tech kit. By the way, now we can go and uh, hack into that little thing over there. Where is it? There you go. Mm. 
Boom. Wow. Not the best loot, I would say. Alright. Go sell and let's get rid of some mods. Uh, shock damage. Plasma. Alright, we'll keep the plasma. I like the plasma. The magazine. Get rid of it. Ranged weapon skills. Ooh. Okay, I'll keep that. Firing noise 90%. Ooh, nice barrel. Sweet. Critical. Oh, damn. Physical armor rating 3. I'll keep that. Weapon range. Whatever. 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 Alright, there we go. Man. Disarm the fence, man. It's off, right? Yep. All right, sector clear, huh? Oh yeah, where are the guys that we killed? They turned into ash, didn't they? Damn it! All right, cool. Oh well, I mean, this gun is OP. <laughs> That's uh, a fact. So, oh, oh, there's another one. Get him, girl. Nice work. You shoot bad with that thing. What the hell? No wonder she gets murdered. Maybe I'll take that gun away from her. Like, what the hell? Now we'll go through the main entrance, man. Let's go. She shoots real bad with that gun. Oh, maybe I should consider giving her something else. <laughs> All right. Cheek. The control room. I know the control room. Hold up. Let's get some more water. And that's it. Sell. Oh, hey, hey, woo, -hoo, woo. Look what she doing, man. She ain't doing nothing. What are you doing? You go. Know, that's how you shoot. Jesus. Plasma rifle, sweet, one more. <sighs> Get butt naked. What? Can't open it? Why? 
Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Oh, what's going on? What? <laughs> eh. That's how you shoot, baby. Yeah, some more ammo from, from me. Let's make sure we loot this place up clean. Oh, that's a exit. Oh, that's probably the other door. Oh, that door would be really bad to enter because there would be like enemies all over the damn place. All right, so we got that part. Let's go check what's here. No, I'm not gonna wait a plasma bullet on that little rascal. That's how you do it. Uh huh. Ooh, cowboy hat. What's up with that? Imitate. Boom. I'm a cowboy on a steel horse I ride cause I'm on it dead or alive dead or alive <laughs> dead or alive funny cause I'm on it won't it dead or alive Dead or alive, dead or alive. On a steel horse I ride. I love that song. <laughs> Alright. Hello. Unlock the door. Looks like I'm already going the right way. Damn, there's just so many things I cannot hack into. Shook. Whoa. Where the hell did you go? There's that little cockroach. Where's the other one? Oh man. Up. Mag power. What is that? Power mag. Oh, there you go. Plasma. Oh, so I think I can make my other rifle into plasma. <laughs> well, that mod, right? Wow! Ah! Shoot him down, girl.
Finish him. There you go. Uh, thank you. Chuk. Hello. Oh, nice. That's a decent amount of cash. Enemies on the radar. Seventy. Ho <laughs> Damn. Oh, hold on. Optional Chester's passcode. Stop, rat. That's that's a good ammo. No, I fell down. Nice. I love this place already. Look at all the ammo I got for this thing. Uh, but I think well, okay, that's not the password, is it? like we should have gone that way the first time. Man, for a second feels like you're playing Resident Evil and there's just a zombie gonna pop up out of nowhere, man. <laughs> Damn. Crazy game, I gotta tell you. Alright, we got that dude, bam. I love this place, man. Plan status. Redirect power. Uh, error. Gosh. I knew it was not going to be that easy. Oh, we got to go that way, huh? A little fixy, fixy. Shook. Happen to Miss McDevitt's folk if we send power to the Wait, Phantom. Did I the hell? Did I just hear a human? Wait, Phantom. Higgs. Go to that door later. Third level. Where are you, Higgs? Get away. 
Oh no, actually, uh, maybe I had to follow that sign. Whoa! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Damn! Finish him! My girl. <laughs> I guess my stats are going down real bad. I actually have 20 engineering. Oh, girl, you blind. There's a freaking drone. I guess that works too. <laughs> ah! Sorry. That's how you do it. What do you mean you're saying sorry? What's, what are you sorry for? You did a good job. There you go. That's what I'm talking about, baby. That's how you always supposed to do it. Don't be sorry for that. That was freaking cool. Because <laughs> if you're going to be sorry, you're going to end up like this dude. No head. <laughs> it's a KOBK situation. Kill or be killed. <laughs> alright, alright, alright. Looks like stuck to Claire over here. Uh-uh. Gotcha. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hmm. Uh-huh, there's another panel right there. I'm not sure what the light is. All I know is the decision's final. But wait. What about that dude that we heard? What happened to him? Oh, that's 70 then. Let's go try to find that dude then. Damn it, where is the... Where was that thing? This thing is confusing! Probably... No, that's where we killed the robots. That's where we came up from, from... I didn't actually use that leather, by the way. Let's go check out. Maybe there's some loot over there. Oh, no. It's leading us here. Okay, never mind. Okay, uh... Bam! Oh, okay. I'll take that. Uh, let's go back. Hold on, man, I'm coming. <laughs> Damn it. Maybe he's got some vital info. Intel. 
Like, don't do those guys. Those guys are cannibalists. I'm real. I'm very real. And I'm coming for your life. Damn, you got some goodies here, man. What is that chest? Chuk, 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 chuk. Get away! Mm. Hello. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot, scram. Sneak 30. No, I don't have it. Great, another lunatic. <laughs> don't you talk down to me, Phantom. At least I know I'm real. See? See, Higgins? This is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. You're not imagining me. Of course. Do excuse me. I experienced brief flashes of mania during which I am visited by the phantoms of my imagination. Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. I use it as a reminder. Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this plant. I specialized in auto mechanicals, drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all from my old workroom just over in the next section. Not bad. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us. With prodding irons. You know, you remind me of myself back when I was an intergalactic adventurer. I discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. There we go. Let me just write it down for you. All right. Uh, but didn't I already kill them all? <laughs> uh, what the hell? Where's the quest? Right, I also have a mission here as well, lol. Totally forgot about it. Okay, where did I see that terminal? Chief key. Ah, oh, damn it. Find a stupid key now. Oh, wow. This, this map tells me a lot. <laughs> All right, journal. Codex, logs, password. Okay. But first, we gotta find a stupid computer. Which I don't remember where I left it. Uh. Zhik. If we just run around, eventually we'll find it. <laughs> uh. 
Was that level one? No, man, I'm freaking hell. I'm running in freaking circles. Okay, that's to go down. No. Then I should be looking somewhere here. Chick, chick. Chick chick. This is a dead end. Ooh. Ooh la la. Malabula. Where the hell are you? Okay, this is the stairs going down. Where is the stupid? Freaking. Damn it! <laughs> I hate this game. That's not it, is it? No, it's not. Um. I'm getting angry at this. Okay, we're going this way. Maybe it's level one. We gotta go. Oh wait. In level three. Chick. Nope, it's that. Definitely not three. All right, let's go all the way up, I guess. <clears throat> no. Level one. Okay, that computer should be somewhere here. I think there it it's not this. No, it's not. Uh, okay, that's gonna lead me to the stairs, so that's not what we want. That's a toilet bathroom. Definitely not what we want. Oh, there it is. I think that's saying it's in. Ah, freaking hell. There you go, we found it. Modify behavior, set set a new target. Send them out. They're already not doing anything. Okay, you know what? Let's just do the quest, damn it. Mister, look, I know you want your power regulator and all, but I just gotta ask you, do you understand what you're about to do? I don't think you should cut off Edgewater's power. I think it would be cruel. I I'm sorry, that just sort of came out all at once. Edgewater's hurting. We've been losing workers year after year, and corporate hardly ever sends replacements. There's barely enough salt tuna to fill our bellies anymore. But the town's got some good people in it. Decent, hard-working folk just living their lives the only way they know how. How does she know I'm about to they don't take them off?
Well, that sure sounds like Mr. Thompson. If he was standing here, I imagine he'd remind us of how we're all one big, happy Spacer's Choice family. In Mr. Thompson's eyes, those deserters are still part of the Spacer's Choice family. The family must work together in order to survive. I hate to say it, but I think Mr. Thompson's got a point. Unless those deserters come back, Edgewater's as good as dead. Cutting off their power might be the only way. Miss McDevitt's built something beautiful. Somehow she's talked the ground into giving life again. It's plain to see she's made the Vale a better place. Fed the hungry, tended the sick. Gave a home to those that had none. But Miss McDevitt delights in Edgewater's suffering. She wants to hurt the town. Do you really want to be party to that kind of hatred? Oh, <laughs> this game. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to babble on like that. I just, I felt like I had to say something. Really? I mean, wow. Thanks. I, no one's ever told me those words in that order. I'm tired. I'm sleepy. I'm I'm everything, but not okay. Okay, how do you use the? Oh, come back. Be right there. How do you use the water? Okay. Um, just forget about it. Ugh. <laughs> damn 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 but yeah I mean that's an entire I don't know <laughs> Damn it, man. Hold on, but what about that robot robot? Die robot robot quest. Geothermal security chief's key card. Have you seen the key card, baby? Cause I can't hack into that thing, that's for sure. If I were to be a security chief, where would I leave my body? <laughs> uh damn it. Uh, uh 
region taken over by the well. Mom wants you to infiltrate the plant and retrieve the lighting model from one of the Oh, ow. Yo, you the chief? No, plant worker. Wait, wasn't this this dude? Got it. Head down. Oh, no. Maybe that thing? I already cleared that thing. Yo, have you seen the chief? Chief's body? No? Maybe? Found some tuna. Worker, worker. Maybe he was taking a dump. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Are oh, you son of a cockroach? Well, we got it. Okay, now. Now we gotta go that way. I'm gonna get hurt. Broke my leg. My leg, man. <laughs> my leg. Give me my leg, man! Bingo! Ooh. Goody. Alright. Okay, but we are going to convince the Zerders to return. They're gonna be pissed at me right now. Real pissed, like real. It's like, y'all, man, we sent you to save our butts, and you decided to take us down. Oh well. <laughs> ah, baby, you better have your gun ready for shoot, cause I think those people are gonna hate us right now. <laughs> and I for sure do not want to die. Well, not today, that is. Oh yeah, there you go. Cheek. Oh. oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> Okay, um, boom. Uh, determination. I'm gonna think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna think about it. Look at, uh, look at all the penalty that I got. It's crazy, man. And it's all because I'm sleep I'm sleepy. 
It would be nice if there were to be some coffee. Like, you drink your coffee and bam, you're all good again. We did it, baby. We got him. No guard. I think this place is being abandoned. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that's Calvin. He used to follow me around before he left the cannery. Deserter, deserter, deserter. Food's bound to spoil at this rate. What happened? Sprat fell into a transformer again? Oh, this is a plasma sword, bro. Oh. <laughs> I should give it to my baby, man. Oh, breakdown. Repair. Whoa, I got a decent amount of parts out of nowhere. Tinker and modify. So. Plasma. There you go. <laughs> okay. Inventory. Plasma 18. Oh, damn. Look at that damage. That is crazy. Okay, but what ammo does it use now? All right, <laughs> cool. Whoa. She's pissed. That's the thing about growing old. <laughs> Your eyes start to fail. Elsewise, I would have seen you for the snake that you are. Chopped you into pieces and roasted you on a spit. This is all you're doing. Cutting off my power, killing off my garden. Without refrigeration, my food will spoil, and my flock will starve. I want to ask you this in private, away from the eyes of my flock, so they do not see me lose my temper. Tell me, why did you do it? You want my flock wasting their lives in that cannery? Fine. Go and talk to them. Go talk to Grace and Thomas. Look them in the eye and tell them their life here is over, and the only thing left to do is go back to Edgewater. This is now your responsibility. And you tell Reed Thompson that I will never return to Edgewater. I would rather die among my flowers than live under his management. You offering to cross Reed off, huh? This some sort of twisted reparation for what you've done? Or are you just looking for a chance to sow some chaos? Kill Reed if you must, or talk him into leaving if you can. He and I are not sharing the same four walls together. Kill Reed. <laughs> oh my god, what is going on here? I'm already lost track. There's some conspiracy going on. <laughs> Kill Reed if you must. 
Reed isn't going to just leave his post. I'll need some help convincing him. Tell Reed that I can make his people healthy again. I can end their plague. Start a new garden right in the cannery. Three square meals for every man and woman in Edgewater. Tell him how I've made the Vale bloom again. The soil has whispered its secrets to me, and I alone know how to breathe life back into the earth. The secret is human corpses. I've been grinding them up in my fertilizer for years. The hell? Marauder, worker, don't matter much to me. The human body is rich with nutrients. Oh. Okay, <laughs> when you what happens when you run out of corpses? <laughs> Edgewater Cemetery's got corpses aplenty, enough for a generation's worth of crops. My son worked in that cannery. When the plague started coming, he was one of the first to fall sick. We had a store of medicine locked away, but Reed refused to treat him. Said my boy didn't deserve treatment. Said the medicine would have been wasted on him. So I buried my boy in the cemetery, gathered my belongings, and left. That's as much of the story as you need to hear. Wow. That is insane. What do you think you're doing? Hey, <laughs> I was just leaving. I don't have time for this. My bad. I mean, this place is already gone. What do you care about a few uh, bullets? Hello. Everybody keeps staring at me. It's not my fault the power's dead. Whoa, Miss Parvati. Oh, he's sure has a hi, crash hi, on her. Hi, uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, uh, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no, I, I'm just along with this. Bella here. I seen you wandering around here. You don't look like you're coming from town. Just passing through, man. Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying to everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Hello. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set. Uh, I get a quest now. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. I'll pay you for every pad you bring me. If, by some miracle, you can bring me the full set, I'll give you something pretty I've been saving for a lucky day. Alright, sounds good. <laughs> you mentioned two pads, what about the third? I wish I knew. I wager the town had the full set once upon a time. Where the third's gone, I can't say. No kidding! Really? Well, which one? I already have one. <laughs> the geothermal plant? Now that is just incredible! You really went exploring down there? Adelaide always told us it was swarming with hostile mechanicals. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. One data pad's enough to guide me down my newfound path. Just remember, I got something saved for you if you find me all three. Sure, 
I'd be glad to take them off your hands. I've been thinking about going back. I'm not much used to anybody here. I get sick thinking about working at the cannery. I can't do that again. You know something? I think you're right. The town could use another engineer, and I'm on my way to becoming one. I could do a lot of there good. There you go. I has a spirit. Maybe even keep a garage of my own with a little workbench and my very own toolbox. Yes, sir. It's just... Adelaide's never gonna forgive me. Not in a hundred years. I go crawling back to my old life in Edgewater, and I'm as good as dead to her. Adelaide hates Edgewater, hates everything Edgewater stands for, hates what that town does to people, what it did to her. We're the nearest she's got to kin. We go back to Edgewater, we may as well have stuck a knife in her heart. You know where to find me. I expect we got no choice. Edgewater needs us back, and loath as I am to admit it, we need Edgewater. You okay with this, Grace? My fears are all settled. Thanks for helping me with Zoe. Just give us some time to gather our personals and say our goodbyes. If you run into Reed, you tell him we're coming back, yeah? Oops. Oops! You can visit the Zerds to return to Edward. Adeline refuses to go back. Reed will want to know. You have uh, power to return to the ship. Wow, man. Whoops. Whoops. It's all your fault, chicken. That I made that mistake. <laughs> Maybe I'll still be able to convince him to chill, go down. I don't have a load file. If I load, man, it's gonna take a whole bunch of time for me to redo all this stuff. So I guess we're just gonna go with what we're gonna go. I thought we killed everyone here. What the hell is going on? Headshot in your face, man. Enemy kill 30 XP. Say what? Just 30? Why? Didn't I loot this place already? What the hell's going on? Or did it already reset or something? Hmm. Can you shoot the bird? Oh, look at that. These dudes are back. Huh. Interesting. Whoa! Damn! <laughs> Come on! Marauder! So these guys do respawn, huh? Knock, 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 anybody home? 
It's your boy Z. Hey, how'd you get here so fast? Hmm. That music is so good. Wait, do I have access to parks? No, I don't. Hello. This is a fine day, friend. Power flows through our town like a cool stream of water. I trust Adelaide's people have seen their way to reason. So, when can I expect them back at their post? Go ahead. It is my job to keep two eyes on my town. I am the steward of this place, and this is my watch post. I wish you wouldn't say things like that. Yes, as a matter of fact, when I stand at my window and look out over my town, Here's what I see. I see decent, loyal, hard-working people. I see a family. We are all part of the Spacer's Choice family. We are all doing what we were brought into this world to do. This is a Spacer's Choice town. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. The company keeps us warm, keeps us fed, keeps us working. Loyalty's got nothing to do with it, friend. This is good old-fashioned gratitude. Go ahead. Adelaide was our only flavor specialist. We are a Saltuna canning institution. Saltuna without flavor is like a sisty pig without tumors, borderline inedible. Begging your pardon, Sultuna is a staple in the diet of any self-respecting spacer. Were it up to me, friend, I'd stack our larders with Sultuna galore. Damn it! Galore I actually wanted to take this guy down. To the body but and this is what if I kill him? Keep between the two of us, Sultuna is hard to come by. What with being a species indigenous to the seas of another world, a vegetable. You mean like hydro kale? Chewy, fibrous material that springs out of the dirt? I do not trust any food that grows out of the dirt. Worms copulate in the dirt. Did you know that? Oh, we've scavenged together some organic material from the surrounding environs. Mostly organic, mostly local mushrooms. Some of which possess a texture akin to a well-boiled slab of saltuna. The difference is all but impossible to detect to any but the prissiest of palates. <sighs> I appreciate what you've done for us. That's good enough for me. Adelaide and I have a history. It was unlikely she'd ever come back. But hope springs eternal. We are in your debt. I am authorizing you for a discount on all official Spacer's Choice products, courtesy of the people of Edgewater. 17,000 XP, damn. By all means. Thomas. Thomas Kemp? I remember him. Had to write him up for daydreaming a few too many times. He tries real hard, Mr. Thompson. This is something he wants to do. That'll make him twice as good. I will give him a chance to impress me. If he knows his way around a toolbox, I may have a place for him in the Holcomb workshop. This whole fiasco is not one I am keen on repeating. I was too hard on my own workers. I pushed them to their breaking point.
With more hands at the cannery, I expect productivity will rise. I expect we'll grow. And I expect I can ask corporate to send us some more medicine. We'll survive, one way or another. <sighs> you kidding me? The other two locations are there? <sighs> you know what? Let's go speak to that robo guy. That thing we're gonna do tomorrow. And once we're done speaking with the robo guy, we'll call it a day for today. Damn, actually, we need to go that way. Open sesame. Maybe I shouldn't have focused on that hacking hacking thing. <laughs> I mean, lock picking, hacking. Just focus on persuasion and uh, leadership. Never seen the veil lit up like this before. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. Oh. That reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. So this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical hordes. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. And a little something to remember me by. Thank you. So he gave me a stick. Oh, it's not just a stick. Uh, power, attack, damage. Okay. Oh, hold on a second. Where did the other... Never mind. I think I sold it by mistake. Whoops. Alright, Z Clan and everybody else, this is where we're going to be calling it the end for this uh, episode. So, once again, thanks all for watching, and I will see you all on the next one where we're going to continue that side quest. Actually, we need to straight sh get back to the ship because I need to also sleep. So, yeah, we'll see what we're going to do, and we're almost to level 8, and then from there we'll decide where we what we're going to do. Or maybe I should even respec. I think I'm considering actually to respec as well before it gets too expensive. And uh, since y since we get tired all the time, armor is like, he's like, oh, if this go bad, this go bad. Let's just go dialogue and freaking leadership. Boom. And I think that should solve the problem. And go with ranged, for example. I don't know. You know what? Let's do that now. Let's go and check it out. What is it? Come on, fast travel, damn it. Hey. Stop with the quest. And fast travel. There you go. Thank you. And I just want to check the price for the respec. And then I'll think about it. What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Is this your ship? Oh my star, she is just so handsome. Does she have a name yet? What's her drive model? Oh, gosh. That <laughs> came out of nowhere. <laughs> she was like, oh, this is your ship. Dreamed of flying on a real ship. Working on a real engine. Belonging to a proper crew. I'm the only decent mechanic Edgewater's got, but every time I think of going back, I get this sinking feeling. Well, they have the other dude now. I understand not wanting to go back. I didn't see him happy. Have you ever been on a ship before? I've worked on the occasional supply coach in need of repairs. 
Once I built a little model craft out of spare parts, but Mr. Thompson found out and I had to take it apart. I want to ask you something, and you can say no. But can I come with you? <laughs> I could tend to your engine. I know my G-valves for my catalyzers, and I can keep your ship singing. And if you ever need a pair of eyes watching your back, I can do that too. Hell yeah! What do you think? Let's go. I'll be glad to have you. Did you, you showed your muscle, girl? Yes. I mean, thanks. You won't regret this, Mister. Captain. Please call me Captain. I can call <laughs> you Captain now. <laughs> I got a Captain. <laughs> I love this chick. <laughs> well, I certainly am looking forward to flying on a ship named the Unreliable. I'll just head upstairs and claim a room. Man, you you do that. And I want to check how much does it take to respec. Because I'm wasting money on those stupid things. Oh. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, 60 points available. Okay. So, dialogue... I think at the moment we're good over there. What we need is this leadership. Companion gains additional twenty five percent healing effect. And fifty all the way to master, right? Companion health. There you go. Woo Boom! When companion kills an enemy gain fifty percent of health. Look at that companion health. Ha <laughs> ha! Companion damage bonus. There you go, man. That's what we gotta do. Leadership straight off the bat. And then we'll think about anything else. And I think we got this, man. Boom! Parks. Uh, definitely I want this. Raise the skill to 100. Okay, cool. I just got an achievement. <laughs> uh, then we want this. Then we want this boom and we're saving and that's where I'm calling it a day so thanks all for watching I'll see y'all later bye